Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Welcome to the second part of COA Computer Organization and Architecture So in the previous lecture we discussed about the computer organization So in short computer organization is the internal working internal structure of a computer So what is computer architecture? Let's see Computer architecture is high level of working. Usually programmer deals the front end, the high level of a computer. Means what type of instruction set is using inside the system? What cache optimization techniques are used inside the system? This information must a programmer know. So the computer architecture is basically the high level of working not the low level which deals only the computer organization Programmer must know the architecture Means what type of instruction set is using a computer system as we have discussed Computer architectures deals with logic logic means instruction sets addressing modes data types and cache optimization this is all about the logic the high level of a computer architecture so a computer architecture deals with the logic that is a high level of working computer architecture is an arrangement of how a set of software and hardware technology standards cooperate to formulate a computer system or platform so in computer architecture we deals with the software and hardware technology standards how they both cooperate and make a system in a working state this is all about the computer architecture how a computer system is designed on the basis of software requirements on the basis of the latest technology adopted by the system and the hardware that supports that specific software so a system is designed on the basis of the architecture what technologies computer is compatible with in computer architecture we also have to evaluate that our system supporting the technologies the latest ones if yes then we will adopt that architecture if not then we have to choose one that sports the latest technologies so computer architectures tells what to do because it deals with software and software is simply commands that we give to computer to perform some specific actions to perform some specific operations for us while on the other hand computer organization deals with how to do on the commands how a system has to perform to fulfill the operation to fulfill the command how the hardware how the computer organization will work this is all about the computer organization while computer architecture is what to do which the programmer gives the command to the system computer architecture show system quality to programmer this is the responsibility of a programmer to ensure the quality of the system how he will ensure the quality of the system by simply knowing that different data types used how many bits there are different data types like integer char float a programmer must know the number of bits used by different data types and instruction set type what instruction set type the system is using is it using the complex instruction set computers or is it, is it using the in reduced instruction set computer we will discuss these both techniques in the coming lectures for now 
uh, a computer must understand which type of instruction set is using in the computer architecture. Methods and ways of input and output. What methods and ways we will use, we will choose to input the data in the computer and producing the output from the computer. And technology used in the addressing mem. What latest technology we are using to optimize the memory. Software quality links to computer architecture. So software related to computer architecture while hardware related to computer organization. In short, when we are talking about the computer architecture, so we are talking about the software used in the computer. And when we are talking about the computer organization, it means what type of hardware we are using inside the computer. Running multiple instruction set in a computer system, it's a computer architecture design issue. While on the other hand, operational units, CPU and IO units and memory problems were computer organization dis design issues. Many computer manufacturers offer multiple models with differences in organization, internal system, but with the same architecture, front end. Means there are multiple computer manufacturers in the world that offer the same architecture but different flavors. Their computer organization is different but their computer architecture is same. We will see a few examples in the coming slides. So models have different prices and performance. So our performance is measured according to the model used into the system. And the price is also dependent on the model. Obviously, the latest model will be more costly and have better performance. Organization change with the change of technology. As the new hardware and new technology introduces in the market, which is more cheaper and more faster than obviously the organization of computer will automatically change while architecture never changed so frequently as compared to the organization same software can run on multiple models like microsoft office can run on xp can run on linux can run on windows while hardware changes improves speed performance so let's see the examples of computer architecture there is a computer architecture x86 the intel and amd which are the two companies two famous companies that manufacture cpu cpu type x86 these intel and amd both creating cpu both developing the cpu that stands for central processing unit x86 is a computer architecture intel producing x86 architecture on the other hand there are a lot of more technologies here that are producing x86 architecture but in this architecture, x86 use CISC that stands for complex instruction set computers. Means this architecture support CISC. So CISC takes multiple CPU cycles to execute. So this is a one architecture that is x86 but two different companies like intel and amd creating two organizations two different computer organization flavors one architecture x86 x86 which is producing by two different companies international companies intel and amd 
and they are producing their own flavors intel producing their own flavor or of x86 with its own computer organization while while amd producing its own architecture x86 with different computer organization flavor hopefully you got my point let's take another example here is again two companies nvidia and qualcomm these both companies developing gpu that stands for graphical processing unit both based on the arm architecture companies nvidia and qualcomm producing arm architecture that is known as advanced risk machine so what is risk machine arm is an example of risk that stands for reduced instruction set computer that is opposite of cisc so instruction in arm architectures are usually simple and takes only one cpu cycle to execute commands while on the other hand cisc take multiple cpu cycles to execute command cisc was more complex while risc is easier to understand and easier to execute both companies nvidia and qualcomm develop their own flavor of arm so organization different from of same architecture the architecture is same like arm architecture but the both companies developing their own organization flavors two companies developing one architecture that is arm but with different organization but with different computer organizations